Good morning. We're going to finish working on our business letters today. The first thing that you'll need to do is you're going to need to pull up your business letter draft, and that's the one that you worked on a couple of days ago. If you can't find it, a trick that I do all the time with my Google Drive is I just search the topic in my Google Drive, and often I'll start with the recents because I worked on it recently. So if you can't find it, search business letter, don't use the quotation marks, in your Google Drive. And we're going to be working on your conclusion today. So remember, I talked about in the last lesson, in your conclusion, you want to restate your opinion that you established at the introduction, or you're going to request a call to action or change. For example, when I was writing to Jeff Kinney, I might be asking him to come for a visit to see my students at school. When Mr. Piccinini was writing his email to Home Depot, he was requesting a refund or a change. Um, you want to be sincere and polite because my mom always said that you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. And that means that it's always better to be kind and polite and respectful, and you're more likely to get what you wanted if you do that. If you're not exactly sure what sentences you want to use to end your letter, you can click this link and watch this video. And the lady, she's very lovely. She's British, I think. Um, so she has an accent, which is fine. Fun, because that always makes it sound a little bit more polite, I guess. I don't know. Um, and you can use that. She has some sentence starters to help you end your letter. Finally, you're going to watch this video, the format of a business letter. And afterwards, I want you to go back over your draft looking at each of these options. You need to make sure that you check your formatting because business letters have a specific format where everything's aligned all the way to the left. You want to check your spacing, your font, make sure that it's, you can change your font and make it fun, um, but it should still be professional and in black. Make sure that you edit for your capitalization and punctuation. Remember, the beginning of every sentence or proper noun should have a capital, and the end of every sentence should have some form of punctuation, a period or a question mark or an exclamation mark if you're excited. And once you've done this and you have an adult in your house check it over, then go ahead and print it. The next lesson, the last lesson, is going to be how um, to format a business letter envelope. Um, if you don't have access to a printer, then just let me know in Google Classroom and I'll print it for you here at home and then I'll mail it to you. If you have any questions, then you can just let me know. Bye.